differences between the two. We have Photoshop. This is more of, I like to think of it as like a surgeon versus a general practitioner. I think is the best way to think about it. Photoshop is the surgeon. Photoshop is the one image at a time. We're going to do some intensive editing. We're going to do things like skin correction, masking. I'll tell you what that is uh, if you're not familiar. And then like dropping in things like heads and compositing and doing like super fun kind of fantastical things. But you're really focusing on a single image at a time and heavily editing that single picture where Lightroom what we have, it's a catalog program. So this is going to help us organize our images, which is like one of my favorite parts of it for sure. Um, and then we can import them in, see all of our pictures, organize our pictures, and then also edit them as well, but not as intensively as Photoshop. It's meant for more of like a batch editing or simple editing type of software. Nothing too intense like cutting stuff out and pasting it in. This is really just, hey, do I just want to change the lighting? Do I just want to change the saturation? Um, you can take out little things here and there in Lightroom, but really it's meant to be more of like an overall edit to the image rather than cut and slice and dice and specifics. Um, we've got, of course, things like presets and watermarks as well. So when you're exporting them, we have the option to batch export, which means I can take 50 pictures, rename them and resize them all in one click. We have two different versions of Lightroom as well. Like I was saying, just here to make things more complicated for you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we have Lightroom CC, which is now even called just Lightroom. However, really, it's we prefer to call it Lightroom CC. So we have a differentiation between Lightroom CC the web-based version, and then Lightroom Classic, which is like the old school version. Both of them are very, very, very similar in many regards, and I'll show you, but here's the differences between the two. Lightroom CC is web-based. Everything that you upload will go up to the cloud. You have to purchase a certain amount of cloud storage, um, usually comes with like a terabyte, and you can purchase more if you want, um, but everything is up on the cloud. So you have to have access to the internet, at least the majority of the time to be able to upload and access and edit your pictures. So just keep that in mind. Um, but the really cool thing is that it's all integrated for mobile. So if I upload pictures and I work on them here, in uh, my computer, I can pick up my phone and then instantly go to my um, my mobile app, the Lightroom mobile app, and start to either edit there or I can post directly to Instagram or I can post directly to Facebook. So for things like marketing and social media and all that, it's been awesome. Um, also, being able to take better pictures on my phone, the, app, the Lightroom application is pretty amazing. Uh, you can actually shoot raw images on your cell phone through the Lightroom app. It's pretty cool. So, and it's got a much easier import and export process. So getting pictures into Lightroom CC and getting them out of Lightroom CC is a lot easier than it is in Classic. And again, I'll kind of show you that. But Classic is really nice because everything is local storage. Nothing's on the cloud. You can choose to put things on the cloud if you want, where with Lightroom CC, you do not have that option to put things by locally, I mean like on your hard drive. So all of my pictures for Lightroom Classic are on my uh, external hard drive. I have a little like Western Digital Passport external hard drive where all my pictures live and that's how Lightroom talks to my photos. They're all on that hard drive. So you can sync it with Lightroom um, CC like I mentioned but uh, you never really have to worry about your pictures running out of space which is nice. It's like as long as you buy more hard drives you can just keep putting more pictures into Lightroom. There's no limit to the amount of space that you can have in there, at least not that I've found yet. Um, it is good for people with a lot of photos, especially a lot of raw photos. So for, like I was saying, for me as an event photographer, I end up with classic more than I do CC. I use both hand in hand, um, but classic is what I learned on and what is much better for me as a photographer to be able to do things like batch edit, batch export quickly and efficiently and not have to worry about cloud storage. If you are interested in getting into like the plans and stuff, here's a good way to do that. So if we go to um, adobe.com, like I'm already logged in here. But even if you're not, here's how you get to the different photography plans for you to choose from. So we go to creativity and design, we go to photographers, and it should bring you here. That's pretty cool. And then you've got compare plans up here by that little flamingo. Bye. Compare plans. And here's the different ones that they have to offer. So 
the first one, this photography plan, 20 gigs, um, this would be if you are only really exclusively using Lightroom Classic um, and maybe some Photoshop. That's a pretty good one to have. But the 20 gigs means maybe you can put a couple pictures every once in a while up on the cloud, um, but not a whole lot. If you think about it, your SD card is probably like 32 or 64 gigs. So yeah, just very minimal cloud storage space. But if you're never gonna use the um, Lightroom CC version with everything up on the cloud, that's fine, no worries. So if you're gonna go with Lightroom Classic, and also on Photoshop, this is a good one to have. The photography plan with one terabyte. If you are gonna use Lightroom CC, the web-based version and Photoshop, this is a good one to have because that's gonna come with a whole terabyte and you want that extra space and storage because you're gonna end up putting a lot more stuff on the cloud. Just this one is $20 a month by comparison because it comes with Photoshop versus if you're not gonna wanna use Photoshop at all, if you just wanna use the Lightroom in the cloud version CC, then just get this one, the Lightroom plan. It comes with a whole terabyte of space, $10 a month, but it does not come with Photoshop. So just know that. Cool. If you have any questions about that, just email me. If you're still kind of confused by it, totally fine. I completely understand. This is all kind of crazy. But the breakdown essentially is if you're going to use Lightroom Classic, if you're going to use Lightroom CC and Photoshop, or if you were just going to use Lightroom CC, the web-based version. So yeah, don't want you guys to have to spend any more money than you already have to. So 